Smile for Joel was set up way back when the horrific incident happened. The FA came up with a slogan for Joel called Smile for Joel because Joel had the most infectious smile and it stuck. So what happened was we had so much love and support of so many different people from the community, from family and friends. We felt that we needed to put this support into something more positive. So we came up with the idea of actually helping others through victim support. Any family that's been affected by homicide will get a caseworker. The caseworkers will then refer the story to victim support and tell them what that family needs. It's so diverse, there's so many different requests and it's just lovely to be able to say yes, you know, we can help. We came up with the idea of 21 events to start with. Joel would have been 21 in August, so it seemed very apt to actually go with 21 for Joel. Run for Joel was our biggest event, which took place on the 11th of September. We had people in wheelchairs, we had little toddlers, we had serious runners, and everybody came and did either a 3K or a 5K run, and it was just fantastic. And just that event alone raised 27 and a half thousand pounds. I would like the charity to just keep going and going and going and, and, and to grow uh, with strength and support. I think what we do is lovely. I think it helps families in exactly the right way. I've been there, I know what the families need, so when the requests come through, I understand their needs. You know, they don't need the big holiday to Florida. They just need a help with the day-to-day -day stuff. And that's what Smile for Joel does, it holds the hand. We've got lots of ideas and lots of things planned already for next year. We just want it to keep on going and going and going and we want everybody to, to know what Smile for Joel is about. We want everybody to know what happened that day. And we want it to remember all those lovely people that never came home that day. All they did was went on holiday and it could have been any one of us.